Hello everyone. Welcome back and I hope all of you are in good spirits. So today we are going to start with the poem A Roadside Stand by Robert Frost. Robert Frost was born on 26th of March 1874 and died on 29th of January 1963. He was an American poet and was born in San Francisco. Now moving on towards the poem's theme. The poem A Roadside Stand is the poet's plea for consideration for the simple people of the countryside whose lives have shown no progress. He expresses his pain at their sadness and sorrow and seeks support and relief for them. He hopes someone would work unselfishly for their rehabilitation and not exploit them. He brings out the wide disparity between the haves and the have-nots with pitiless clarity and humanity and seems to suggest that the economic well-being of a country only depends on a balanced development of both the villages as well as the cities. Now moving on towards the summary of this poem, a roadside stand portrays the poor country people whose earnest desire is to rise above their wretchedness. They attempt to do this by putting up roadside stands and trying to sell whatever they can to improve their lives. But the city people just speed by in their cars and do not even notice them. And when they do, it is with irritation at their having spoiled the natural landscape with their badly written signs. Frost very aptly portrays the country people's anger at the selfishness of the city dwellers for all they want is to attain the standard that they have seen promised to them in movies, but which they feel is being denied to them by the present government. They do not want charity and the poet makes it very clear that the donors are actually ruining their lives by calling these so-called benevolent people greedy and beasts of prey. They move them to countryside to live near theatres and shops and encourage them to live ideal lives which will take away their peace and wits. The poet feels pain on seeing the country people's intense longing for a better life and their sadness at the non-fulfillment of their dreams when not even one car stops to inquire about the goods they are selling. The city dwellers are projected as being involved in their own lives with no thought for anyone else. The poem showcases the heartlessness of the city dwellers through the poet's insane desire to put an end to the country people so that there would be relief from their complaints about the lack of upliftment of their lives. The poem ends with the poet's remorse at these feelings when he realizes how he would feel if someone were to try his pain in the same way. So that's all for today. Hope you like it and we'll meet you in the next video.